you've had a you know two decades with the NBA office. You know there are key manions that are listening to this, and uh, you know maybe aspire to work in sports administration. You know aspire to work in marketing and corporate partnerships. What do you attribute your success to and your longevity with the league? You have essentially one of the most important positions in sports uh, across the entire world. What do you attribute your success to? Well, I think there's a couple of things. One is I love what I do. And I would encourage any young folks out there to find your passion and pursue it. You know, it was for me when I identified that this is what I wanted to do, I pursued it with a with a passion. I, I, I treated it like it was a full time course, a full time job, uh, and went out and built networks and talked to people and pursued it relentlessly. So let's go to twenty seventeen, world's strongest man. So obviously you've had a really good run. Three years in a row as Britain's strongest man. You finished third the previous year. Walk us through twenty seventeen. What was different and what did you do different? What was the event like? Because first and third were separated by three points. So it's pretty it was a pretty close contest all the way through. Walk us through that competition where you ultimately won the world's strongest man. Yeah, I mean if if you look at the points you could say it was a close contest, but if you actually watch the show, uh, I won it by, by a mile. Let's talk about the Ortiz fight, March 2018, just last year. It took you 10 rounds, but you eventually knocked him out. Tell me about that fight. Was that in the last two years, you probably had two of the best fights, this and the Tyson Fury fight, Ortiz and Fury, probably the two best fights. And I think they've really helped put boxing, not that it wasn't off the map, but, you know, with the rise of mixed martial arts, you know, boxing sometimes may take a back seat. But I think those two fights really, really put boxing in the limelight once again. That was another amazing fight, you know. Uh, as being a champion, I feel that the people deserve great fights. You know, the best must face the best, although the best can't fight the best all the time. You know, especially in the heavyweight division, because, you know, sometimes your body just need a rest. 